Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Thursday, April 8th, 2021. And we begin with TikTok and a 13-year-old teaming up to help save a life 800 miles away. Caden Cutnoir was in New Hampshire watching a live stream of 12-year-old Trent Jarrett riding his ATV in West Virginia when the picture suddenly went dark. It became clear fast that Trent was injured and in trouble when he started yelling for help and shouting out numbers. Quick-thinking Caden jotted down the numbers, which just so happened to be the phone number for Trent's grandparents. One call led to another, and within minutes, the injured boy's mom and dad found him still trapped under the ATV with cuts and bruises, but otherwise okay. The two new fast friends Zoomed the following day so Trent could say thank you face-to-face, and they hope to share their love of hunting, fishing, and yes, ATV riding in person sometime soon. The mysterious case of the Martian rainbow has finally been solved. Of the thousands of photos snapped by Perseverance since landing on Mars, one image posted this weekend sparked such an online debate that NASA finally weighed in. The picture in question showed the arc of what looks like a perfect rainbow in the Martian atmosphere. For days, space fans speculated as to whether the photo was real until NASA put the issue to rest with the tweet, Rainbows aren't possible on Mars. According to the agency, the red planet doesn't have enough water or warm enough temperatures to produce the round droplets necessary to create a rainbow. Instead, the multicolored moment was caused by sunlight bouncing off of Perseverance's backup camera, which, unlike the one in the front, is not equipped with a shade to keep that from happening. The official cause of Tiger Woods' February car accident in Southern California was speed. Police say the golfing great was driving nearly twice the speed limit, 84 to 87 miles an hour, in a 45-mile-an-hour zone when he crossed over a median, jumped the curb, hit a tree, and flipped his car. Mr. Woods, who's tied for first in all-time PGA Tour wins, is still recovering from his injuries at his Florida home. Fellow golfers who've recently visited say he's in decent spirits, but bummed to be missing this week's Masters Tournament which he won five times, most recently in 2019. The Masters, widely considered to be golf's most prestigious event, kicks off today in Augusta, Georgia. YouTube is in hot water with U.S. lawmakers again. And this time, it's YouTube kids in the crosshairs. Congress says the company doesn't do enough to filter out material that's unfit for young viewers. Specifically, they claim the platform relies too much on artificial intelligence and video creators themselves to figure out what's okay and what's not. In a stinging letter to YouTube's CEO, the investigating committee called the service a wasteland of vapid consumerist content with the primary purpose of selling ads. This isn't the first time the popular website's been called on the carpet. In 2019, its parent company, Google, paid $170 million in fines for not doing enough to protect kids' personal information. They're calling him the Paper Cowboy. An Australian man stuck in a hotel room for the past week and a half has been making the most of his mandatory COVID quarantine by creating brown paper bag works of art. After spending a few boring days alone, David Marriott's creative juices began to flow. First, he made a cowboy hat from one of the food delivery bags. Then, since every cowboy needs a horse, he fashioned a trusty steed by papering over an ironing board and desk lamp and naming it Russell. After ordering a few more supplies, he covered himself in plastic wrap and the cling film kid was born. Photos of his quirky creations in various poses are circulating worldwide. When he checks out, Russell, who's become an internet star, won't be left behind. The paper bag horse has already been invited to appear in an art show. A reminder to members of our Kid News Club, you've got a direct private email to Kim and me. You can find it in the confirmation email we sent when your parents signed you up. If you have a news question, ask it. We're here to help get you in the know. Now, today's Kid News Quiz. What caused the rainbow-like image on Mars? (laughs) 
According to NASA, it was sunlight bouncing off of Perseverance's rear camera. Why is YouTube Kids in trouble with Congress? For allegedly not doing enough to keep its content kid-friendly. In what country is a man creating brown paper bag art in a hotel room? Australia. How fast was Tiger Woods traveling right before his car crash? Between 84 and 87 miles an hour. In one for the road. What's cuter than a baby otter? How about baby otter triplets? A Wisconsin zoo is celebrating the birth of Montello, Fisher, and Lily, three adorable furry newborns who are each named after one of the state's rivers. Like all river otter pups, they were born blind and didn't open their eyes until they were five weeks old. While both of their parents live at the zoo, baby otters are traditionally raised by their mom. The trio will be introduced to their dad shortly, once they're two months old, around the same time they learn how to swim. Not surprisingly, the triplets already have thousands of Facebook fans and will make their public debut sometime in May. Before we go, it's time to give a Kid News shout out to some of our teachers in their classrooms, starting with Miss McElroy at Billings Elementary in Billings, Missouri, Pooja Dimba at Gideon Hausner Jewish Day School in Palo Alto, California, Miss Meehan at South Jackson Elementary in Athens, Georgia, Mrs. Ferrari at James T. Jones in Gladstone, Michigan, and Mrs. Strickland and her fabulous fifth graders at Parkview Christian School in Eufaula, Alabama. Thanks for listening, everyone. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We hope you tune in for more Kid News tomorrow morning.